In this video, I want to do an example where we would calculate the hydroxide ion concentration from a given pH value. So in order to do a problem like this, there are actually two methods that we can use. Neither is more uh, difficult or challenging to use than the other. Um, but either way, we'll have to use these two expressions, which we know quite well from doing these types of examples. So the question says that if a sodium hydroxide solution has a pH of 12.81, calculate the hydroxide ion cal uh, concentration. So in the first method, in the first method, we will use the second expression. Uh, to calculate the pOH. So we know that the pH is 12.81. That's what was given to us. And if we arrange the second expression, we can solve for, uh, for the pOH. And of course the pOH will be equal to 14.00 minus the pH. which gives us a POH of 1.19. And we also know from uh, past examples that the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 10 raised to the exponent of the negative POH. So in this case, that will be equal to 10 to the exponent negative 1 decimal 1, 9, which gives us a hydroxide ion concentration of 6 decimal 5 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter. And of course, uh, of course, this uh, the, the final answer must have two significant figures because the pH also had two significant figures. Now, now we'll do the second method. And what we'll do is we'll directly calculate the the uh, hydronium ion cal uh, concentration from the given pH. And of course, the hydronium ion cal uh, concentration will be equal to 10 raised to the exponent of the negative pH. So in this case, um, that'll be equal to 10 to the negative 12 decimal 81. For a, for a hydronium ion cal concentration of 1 decimal 5 5 sorry uh, just 1 decimal 5 times 10 to the negative 13 moles per liter and then we can use the first expression that we wrote at the top um, to solve for the hydroxide ion cal concentration. And the hydroxide ion calculation uh, concentration will be equal to 1 decimal 0 times 10 to negative 14 divided by the hydronium ion concentration which we just calculated above to be 1.5 times 10 to the negative 13. And that will give us, of course, as expected, the exact same answer 
as the first method.